Hi everybody. Uh, today I'm going to show you the new seed code complete and I'm really excited to do this because we've integrated our day back calendar um, into seed code complete. Um, and so now we have the great day back experience, uh, calendar experience uh, living in seed code complete. So you can see we have day back here, uh, but then we have our complete sidebar. Uh, so we're integrated uh, back to projects and not too much over here has changed. Um, but now our event data from Seed Code Complete uh, is living in the Dayback Calendar. And we really love this Dayback Calendar uh, for lots of reasons. Um, you know, we've got this great uh, drag and drop uh, experience. Everything uh, very smooth. Um, we've got these great uh, different views. We can come over here to settings, and, and this is what we call the fluid months, where we kind of see everything for the whole month. Um, and we can do a compressed view, where we'll just see the top line, really like this, but still fluid. And then you can turn fluid months off and get kind of your traditional, uh, you know, full grid calendar with the mores and, and things like that. And, you know, go to a day view. The day views really like because we've got this uh, list view and also the schedule view um, and this great drag and drop experience in the schedule view here where we can move stuff around but also grab this little handle here and change the duration uh, right uh, from within day back. So uh, really excited about that. Have the same thing over here um, for the week view uh, where we have the schedule move stuff around. We can also do our list. We want to get kind of a more compressed view. Um, month view. Now I'm going to go back to uh, fluid months uh, compressed. Uh, of course we've got our re resource views uh, where we can uh, look at things resource wise and we can define the number of days we want to see here. So we can just do a single day with four resources, or maybe let's go a little bit more. Let's do six resources, three days, and very quickly uh, can kind of get the view you need. Uh, we have also got the grid view, which I love, which basically pivots it. And here you can put your days out, you know, really far, and uh, get a more of a bird's eye view of what's uh, going on. So I uh, really love, uh, you know, all these resource views and everything that's been built in here. Go back to uh, schedule view here. And now uh, with the new version of Dayback, we've got our horizon view, uh, which is Dayback's take kind of on the Gantt chart. Um, and there's a lot of similarities to the Gantt chart, but a lot of other things as well. And one of them are these distances. And you can turn these off and get kind of a more traditional Gantt chart view. Um, but once you start using them, uh, I don't think you'll be turning this setting off very much. Um, it's pretty cool, especially in the context of a project. So if I go back to Seed Code Complete, and we can look at this Albert Hall, then I've got this View on Gantt Chart button, which will automatically bring all of the events for that project uh, into focus. And what this tells me is that, you know, I'm 15 days out to staging. And uh, so I get a really nice project view with these uh, distances. Um, now, we know in Seed Code Complete, we have the ability to link events within a project. And basically, we're gonna, what that means is we've chained these events together. So if we change one, the downstream events are going to change as well. So like in this case... I may, the, the quote may not have gotten done yesterday, and it's actually not going to get done till tomorrow. So I'm going to drag it out till tomorrow, and we see that we update our downstream events uh, visually. So we update the data in FileMaker to push all those out, and then we get a nice visual representation of that here in the horizon view. And what's really cool about that is the script that defines this is actually written in FileMaker. So if you wanted to define your own linking rules, uh, it would not be that difficult to do. It would just be a matter of doing a FileMaker script, and then you just keep track of the event IDs that you've modified 
and feed them into the web viewer with a specific script at the end. And that's what does this little update here. And then, you know, we can do things like, oh, we know the panel saw is actually going to take a day shorter now. Let me uh, drag it in. And we'll pull these in, events in as well. So that logic, again, you wouldn't have to get deep into the dayback JavaScript. It would just be a matter of rewriting that FileMaker script uh, to um, honor the logic you wanted. Maybe you wanted to skip over weekends or, or do something fancy like that. So that's all very accessible and customizable, and I'm really excited about that. And, of course, in this uh, horizon view, we can change our Zoom really quickly so we know that we can you know if we need to take things on a bigger time scale and move them out I mean all sorts of ways to use this tool uh, and seed code complete and again really really excited about that um, we've also got uh, filtering and uh, when we go to that Gantt chart we filter the project um, but filtering is really useful here in these other views as well We've got our status filtering, which are kind of the quick filters in Dayback. So I can turn off late, or I can see everything that's, uh, I, I want to see everything that's not finished by turning off done. And then, of course, we've got our advanced filters, where we can do by resource. And then we can uh, clear those out. And those advanced filters, again, this is just a FileMaker uh, layout and window. So applying your own uh, advanced filters and having them respected by the web viewer uh, is something that's very cool and uh, easy to modify as well. So really excited about bringing that uh, functionality into complete. Um, the other really neat thing um, that I liked about this integration is that Dayback allows you to use your own uh, event window. Um, so in this case, so what we're doing for complete is we're going to use a version of the popover we had in the previous one because it has a lot of functionality that um, just uh, exists um, in seed code complete and would be hard to get out of that JavaScript popover. Uh, one of the things is repeating events. So here I've got uh, this event here, this uh, one at 9.15, and I want to make this a repeating event. And I'm going to do it every day uh, for 10 repetitions, something really uh, simple. So now we'll save that. And then when we close our popover window, we see that we get a nice visual drawing of those repeating events. So we know that they, they happen there. And that's uh, we're using the same exact script we use for updating our linked events there. So all we need to do is keep track of these new uh, repeating event records and then feed them into the web viewer when we've done when we're done when we've completed creating them and uh, we get that nice visual representation and again if I turn the repeating events off you get a little warning here saying they're going to go away then we see them disappear uh, dynamically in the JavaScript web viewer too so uh, really like that some other cool uh, stuff that we have in this uh, popover is uh, some of the patterns we have from complete this idea of these badges so here we've linked this project and I can do a little slide panel and uh, review this project and get some information and again this is all just FileMaker stuff so having the event being handled in uh, kind of traditional FileMaker and then the calendar itself uh, being rendered in JavaScript is a, is a great uh, I think is a great combination. So we can, you know, uh, get some basic information from like a staff member or from the project without having to leave the calendar. We can send them an email right from here, look up their address right from here. Uh, but if I do need more information, then I can just, again, we're all linked up back here um, to the project and get any additional information we need and then just kind of complete the cycle. And then, oh, well, let's look at this one on the Gantt. Oh, and maybe we need to push this out and uh, make some other changes like that. So having this uh, linking, um, very exciting. Um, some of the other things that, uh, that we can do in this uh, event popover is we have nice lookups uh, back from seed code complete. Um, and again, we don't have this functionality in the JavaScript popover yet. So having it, being able to uh, provide it in FileMaker in a really nice way 
um, was something we're really uh, excited about. So I can uh, hit this contact and then I can go search for contact in the contacts database. I can find them and then I've added them to the event and you know so now I have access to their badge as well and can even you know go back to their record um, you know back to the calendar uh, and then we also have the ability to we can edit the events right from here or we can open them up in the calendar uh, if we want to see them that way and uh, bring in the appropriate view and everything like that so uh, very excited um, for all the stuff this does we also uh, support multiple uh, contacts here uh, in the seed code complete popover so really cool there just to show you how simple it is though if we did want to use the JavaScript popover, we only have to make one small change, and it's in this load source settings at startup. Should we show event details using a FileMaker layout? True or false? So we have this set to true, so we'll go to our event window. But if I set this to false, save it and then rerun our upon opening routine. Now I can use the JavaScript popovers, which for a lot of people, they'll probably, you know, they may prefer to use those. There's a lot of fun things you can uh, do in here. And uh, I think we have linking. Yeah, so we can uh, link back from the JavaScript uh, popover um, to bring us back to the calendar. And these have really uh, nice uh, functions for changing date and time and a great experience there. So um, the, uh, the fact that we can offer both the JavaScript popover and the event uh, window, kind of the traditional complete event window, uh, is, in, is something else we're really excited about uh, with this latest build. Uh, that's pretty much what I wanted to show you. I'm sure we'll have uh, more to show you soon. Um, thanks so much for watching.